All right, folks, this is Vino Black here, and basically I'm just sharing with you that the idea that Dutch has been basically carousofted or somebody having fun being uh, backdoor, showing their computer literacy. So Stonely is the one to hang out at, and Sheely Aliens, thanks for dropping in to line, and I think all of us would, as long as it keeps going, you know, if they, whoever's pulling their crap. So the idea, I want to show you Carousoft or whoever the heck is out hacking and having fun, the idea that somebody was playing around, and uh, none of the none of the things, the things they do bothers me. I know SCADA, data, and supervisory uh control and data acquisition so the idea that even the modern PLC so uh, you can see the RSOE that I was in the other day the idea that it ended up blending when they were screwing around whoever was playing around and ended up giving me an RSOE for one of you the command bar I do the saves a lot like a lot of people would do if you got and there is the number there that ended up getting behind Stonely's address so you always want to watch your favorites and your uh, uh, tags on the back of your uh, locations. Uh, I'll open up Stonely's right now and see if it goes to this, but we'll also, I'll just hit this number also right now and see if it ends up going to Stonely's. I haven't even taken time to check that, but I just remembered that I fin finished that. Oh, yeah, Fiskums, and basically they tagged because the Chinese footage, but, you know, like I say, um, kill a commie for your mommy every day. So the idea that we have seen the Chinese space footage and the idea you can go look at my film and I'll use the uh, disclaimer at the end, but the idea that we do know by looking at the latest videos with mine, too, is the idea that go to the end, and you will see the baby blue uh, planet. There's the baby blue planet right there. Open it up. There's the baby blue planet. Uh, you'll see it on my video. And basically, we're going to see YU-55, which this is not YU-55. But there, China went up there on November whatever and seen, or October whatever, and saw the baby star, which basically this is probably a dying star, or, you know, who knows, it could end up being a new star. And there is part of that flopper. Go watch my videos, and you'll see descriptions of a lot of this stuff on here. And we're just learning this crap. And there's another one of those you little idea that, that there's more than one flopper, and that's part of those tetrahydrons, I guess, because we can basically see that U shape right there of the flopper. If you go to my video, you'll end up seeing these floppers that come along. And there was a flopper that came along in this video. And it also is not just the Chinese footage. It's also the space shuttle with Officer Scott, Astronaut Scott, being communicated through Huntsville. Uh, so the idea that we know this stuff's out there. So we're this basically today we are going ahead and following up on YU-55 coming by at 3 a.m. Eastern, and I'll give you a map for that. Okay, folks, uh, lost track of where I was at on coming through. So here's the map on basically the east coast of the United States at 3 p.m. So the idea that we got, we're about an hour out of uh, the event. So we're sitting at an hour, 8 minutes, 45 seconds right now when I made this video. Uh, so the idea that it's going to come on the outside of the moon here. And I would think with uh, Big Bang Theory and so forth and so on, being it's just going to be close to the moon and coming down the outside, this here constellation here would be one to keep an eye on. Uh, so if anybody's familiar with Central Carolina, there's your local side rail time. And the idea that it should be looping in this direction, going towards the moon, uh, for the near miss of the moon, or hit, or glance, or whatever it does, well, YU-55 will show us. Uh, it's going to happen. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. So the idea that between now and the, it would be. S let's go to the times on that because I have Mr. Comet's got the action going on that. He's got it nailed down. To save us some time. Okay, so I want to give a big uh, hoorah out there to Mr. Comet. And basically, uh, we are seeing uh, 2005 YU-55. This is what you're going to be watching in a little bit. Basically, the intersection of right here, but coming across our plane. Now, remember, we are starting in on the tail of Comet Allen right here, too, folks. So here, out in front of us, we are getting into the tail of Comet Allen at the same time that this comes by, okay? So a lot of Big Bang stuff, uh, which the idea, I think there was more than one Big Bang, and I think eventually the scientists and everything like that are going to figure this out, and maybe probably would almost agree, a lot of them would probably agree right now. Uh, 
you can check my latest videos out. You'll see the baby planet in front of the supergiants and the sun and the baby star planet that's still basically a star, either brand new or dying out, a small one. Uh, could have been part of the supergiants. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out when. It'd be nice if someone really does know to save me some time. If anybody can tell me exactly when uh, the sun entered the supergiants main sequence. Uh, basically, it slipped in behind the sun, and basically the sun is going into the Supergiants main sequence with Alaraf, so forth and so on, if you've been watching the stuff. So this is basically just a, an hour out or so before the idea that this video should probably be up be a half an hour before uh, the intersection here of this line with Earth's plane on our uh, stereo play in outer space, uni our universes, because basically we're melded right now with the main sequence and some asteroid belts. And I, uh, YU 2000, I mean 5, yeah, YU 55 is an asteroid, part of an asteroid belt that is coming by. Uh, so it's going to barely miss the moon tomorrow on the 9th. Uh, we'll get into the time frame here. I'm going to let this play now. Uh, we should be able to keep this into the 15 minutes on the, the video. Uh, I'm going to pop back over again real fast to the uh, uh, constellation the sky chart so you'll be able to see what you're looking at in North America, be able to try to get a glimpse. So basically the moon will rise. Uh, uh, this is the sky chart of this afternoon central. 3 p.m. is about when it will get in this plane of the Earth's stereo play in, in universes. There's your local side rail time someplace central South Carolina. And the idea that I would figure that the idea when you think about the Big Bang and then the idea that look at that constellation that we've had up there for years and I'm not making any apologies because I'm not no astrologist, okay? And I am kind of learning though now. Uh, here's the Eastern Standard Time. So basically the Central 3 p.m. has got the moon a little bit more over because it's an hour. Okay, so actually, yes, we have one hour difference between central time and the eastern time. So the idea, this is what you'll be seeing. So you'll be looking off at the moon up here. And like I say, that basically looking at this, around this, the moon into this constellation here is what you're going to want to be looking at. Because between the, more than likely the western sky, because it's going towards the moon, it's coming in on our plane, on the Earth axis plane, that the idea that whether it's high, low, whatever, I haven't wasted time figuring that out, that it's going to be going towards the moon. So it should be coming in in this direction, some kind of a loop here. So let me freeze this and go to what we see on what he's got, and it'll make a little bit more sense. See what I've screwed up babbling about. So once again, just throwing this together real fast. So this is your times. This is going to be the close pass of the Earth. That's your close distance on the moon tomorrow on the 9th around this time UTC. There's today's UTC time. And basically, this is your Mr. Comet out there. We love his action. He's got all kinds of stuff. And then we've interacted before. We All of us are pretty much interacting with each other. We find stuff. And we just kind of scratch each other's back. Just We don't waste time talking to each other. But I want to say a good go thanks to him. BP out there, Sheila Alien, uh, and any name I drop out, I say Dutch too much, but the idea of Dutch did a lot, and the idea of the talk room and today, is, you know, yesterday and all the BS, whether it's government, who the hell, a hacker, who knows. Uh, Stonely, even though we're two male testicles, and the idea that we probably don't like each other because we're males, and they're, we like to talk to the gals on the whatever. Have a beard, and thanks a lot, Stonely, for keeping up the communications up there. And I think everybody will fall in line. Anybody that knows Dutch Sense's channel, if they keep on hacking into everybody, they would just keep on flopping over to somebody who's got the comment box open. Okay, so that basically was action that you got out there in space that basically is going to be coming by between now and tomorrow. Uh, this is Jupiter up behind us. That comes in there, folks. That's Jupiter. And we got to remember that Neptune's are at our back door also. So we got, we're pretty darn close to one of the big bangs because the idea that just with the idea of the thought alone with Jop, Jupiter, Neptune, and all this stuff coming in our back door, the moon back there, this YU-255 coming by, 
uh, my videos, you can go and you'll see the uh, the baby planet between the sun and the supergiants, which are over here, and the supergiants are coming in here. Uh, that the idea that basically. Uh, I'm still rolling here, but looking at stuff and seeing it. And uh, it was a thought that came in my mind a little bit ago, folks. It's hard to jam a lot of stuff into 15 minutes. But the idea that, too, which planet is we got here? Is that uh, Pluto or Neptune that they got there over there? I don't really know. You have to double check on that stuff. So, But my thought was the idea that we're coming in here at the 1 o'clock with the idea of that baby planet that you go to my last videos. The baby planet and the baby star or the old star that's burning out. We don't know yet. We just know it's a small sun that's rising on basically uh, you've seen replay for play of this so let's go so basically many more movies to come but the idea that theory folks if you see the this constellation here and, and I'm not really care about not knowing the name of it like I say I'm not no astrologer uh, but I'm learning and the idea that the circulation the circular of that and the circular of all the stuff that we see up by the Sun right now uh, the idea that uh, the planets that are at our back door, Neptune and so forth and so on, and then the moon, and then YU-55 coming there, and the idea that we do know that that baby sun, that baby planet, uh, in that flopper, watch my last videos, is the idea that the, it comes up between 1 and 3 a.m. UTC time, okay? And then we have the six hours back in our time, that would be 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. their time. And the idea that this we, there's going to be some really busy action right about now. So this is also the idea that all the other activities, all the other materials that we've come, had come around, is the idea that I that just, just enough evidence right there to make us think and believe and understand that the idea that there's way more than one Big Bang. And the Big Bang theorists need to just kind of like somewhat r realize that. Uh, major events of Earth, because the idea that we know from looking at the idea that there, there's been way more than one impact on the Earth, Gulf of Mexico, others, volcanoes and stuff like that and other areas, and also Yellowstone is heating up and we got all the magnetical uh, magna going on, and the idea of the quake uptick. Just last night we had the uh, Nicaraguan one. Uh, we also had the big 6.8 or 9 over at... Uh, uh, I believe it was Taiwan and also Japan fall with like a 5.2 uh, so these are the constellations that you got up there this afternoon folks and the idea that it should be coming in like this and missing the moon to the outside at those times we showed you UTC which is basically I believe it was like 713 UTC uh, which basically will be 113 AMR time and then they have that alert thing that they're going through so the idea that uh, Keep an eye on it's coming through the plane right here within about 45 minutes. I'll see how long it takes to upload this uh, Everybody sit back and watch the show and what I think is totally ridiculous about all this stuff Is the idea that this is only happens once in a lifetime no matter what if it was to be the end of all which I really don't think so uh, We're gonna get some activity Vesta came by, we got some action from that. Every one of these objects that comes by, we get earthquake uptick action. Uh, electricity power went out here this afternoon, central time. Uh, I'm sure they're probably, and I had some other people uh, text me uh, on my phone, uh, net wise, and everything like that, that the idea that they had power problems. Uh, so go to SLU, keep an eye on this. We got about a minute left. This is the first time I've ever had a video for a, quite a while that. Uh, there's the address right up here, folks. Take a look at it and watch it. I don't know if they'll get cut down or swamped, get too many people action watching it. Let's just go to Earthquake now and hit that, I suppose, to get a look on that. And then I'll put the legal disclaimer on the end. I just thought I'd say hi to everybody and let everybody know that basically, uh, as far as that, that loaded. So the idea that 3.1 and then we're basically at the lulls that we've seen in the past that close to one of these passings, okay, of one of the objects out there. So... Uh, Let's just go take, I will go to this, and you'll be able to see, you can go hang out and talk at Stonely's. If they, if they attack Stonely's like they did uh, 
Dutch, anybody else, go to Sheila's and go to anybody else. Go to my channel and look at all the favorites and the friends that I've got there and the subscribers there and bop around. Legally, watch Neumeyer.